This is just a basic little web page, nothing uh, very different. I did change the title to web page access. I did change the H1 to element access project. But then noticed I added a paragraph with an ID. Now you got to notice the syntax here. It's be very careful with the apostrophes and the brackets and everything. Then I added a little bit of text directly on the page with an input box element, again with an ID tag, couple of breaks, another text directly on the page, input box element with ID tag, a different one of course, couple of breaks, then a text box element. Notice again it's got an ID tag. This time also I added columns is 40, rows is set to 5. Notice the apostrophes. Those could be quote marks if you wanted to. And then the closing tag for the text area. A couple of breaks. And then um, a button. And the on click is set to main. And finally down at the very bottom, a script that refers to my script.js file. And the script.js file is listed, of course, in my files column here. And here is my script. You'll notice the script has a few new things, but you've actually seen these before, but we didn't really talk about them. This document I get element ID allows me to grab an element from a web page document if I know its ID. So there are the ID tags that you saw in my HTML file. So I grab the paragraph element, I grab the input box one, I grab input box two, I grab the text area, and I'm just making up these variable names. Nothing magic about those variable names. So then I wanted to just demonstrate putting some text into the paragraph element. So the attribute of the paragraph element that I wish to change is the inner HTML. So I use the dot notation, inner HTML. Got to get the capitalization just right. By the way, up here on document.getElement by ID, you need also to get the capitalization just right. And then the testing one, two, three is just the text that I want to assign to that paragraph, nothing fancy. These next two statements then grab the value from the input box. So I, I go to the input box that I've plucked off the document page. I then get its dot value attribute and store that in the first name variable. I do the same thing with input box two, get the value attributes text and store that in the last name variable. And finally on the last line, I just take the word hello and add first name plus a space plus last name get all that concatenated together that's the word they use concatenate when you're using the plus sign here on strings which simply means to glue them together and we stick that whole string into the value attribute of the text area and of course over here on the right you'll notice that I can go ahead and enter some names press the button and everything happens the paragraph changed and the text area changed to represent the two names that I grabbed from the two input boxes. I also did a little bit to the style page just to get the fonts bigger here. So you'll notice that the body has that predefined little style element that Thimble always gives you, but then for the button, I changed the font size to 20 pixels. For the P tag elements, paragraphs, font size of 18 pixels. For the input boxes, 18 pixels. And for the text area, I changed all the font sizes to 18 pixels. Nothing too fancy there, but I did make those changes. Okay, back to the index page. There's the index page complete. You could pause there. And then here's the script. That's the complete script, except for my little comment here at the top. 
you can pause on that if you want to stare at the script. Thank you.